Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Legendary Iron Man playthrough. Operation Witch Fist and potentially a second operation are up for grabs today. Uh, there is uh, quite a significant amount of intel to be gained here. We have infiltrated this for a long time with 200%. We got Jeranks, uh, 8.5, Synapse and the Grey Knights are returning together with Divad, who needs this here in order to get his ne next training regiment. So join me when we are trying to sabotage a transmitter. Let's go. That shouldn't be that well guarded. If we can take it down quickly, Advent's operations across this entire region will be in disarray. Advent has constructed a psionic transmitter in this area, tied directly into their primary network. Our intel suggests destroying it while it's still connected will severely damage their linked systems. All right. Get the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. Good, we have seven to nine enemies, which in return means... that we will be facing anywhere between two and four packs, depending on the pack size. We already got three on the first one, so I can appreciate that that means we're getting Maximum three packs in this mission, but that's fine. As always with these network separation missions, timers are crazily uh, aggressive. We're immediately starting. Luckily, the enlarged flamethrower does a beautiful job in setting one of them ablaze. Everybody takes damage on top of it. Moving up, running and gunning, fortify, hand over teamwork for the other action. And that's a stunning right there, which is great because that's what we needed. High ground. All right, I'll go. Let's try to stun as well. All right, didn't work, but we at least disoriented. Too bad. It's an okay start. Only one of them can act. And that one is even disoriented, so we're okay. Moving further up. Don't want to deal with uh, someone in full cover, so 
there is the second burn now he's uh, fully burning and that's good is it clear? moving up bit of an extra explosion for him Unfortunately, destroyed some loot, but what can you do? Shot into full cover. Worked like a charm. By the way, uh, whilst we're doing all of this... I'm wondering if we should start thinking about our exit plan not great but still okay no and no Predictable. It's one point of damage. Making sure that we're taking all of the shots right now, but as you can see, we need to push in deeper. There's two further network relay stations. And I have to wonder... Oh, good. We know there's a pack and there's a pack and that might be all of the packs there are. Uh, I was about to say, I have to wonder would it have been more clever What's over there? to simply ignore the first pack and move on? very lucky with the low percentage shots today taking the sniper out even if it's just disorienting them to use the rocket next turn let's just stabilize and take uh, core control as many of them as possible for this turn unfortunately that's a big fat miss and even further uh, we're seeing more opposition coming in Good uh, rocket um, right here. There is a great opportunity. Over here. 
That will be a miss. A mistake. Uh, for just going there. Uh, besides, well, that's where we want to evac. Free reload. And yeah, you're dead. Good. If this comes in close, we're good. <laughs> oh, what disastrous, absolutely massive destruction. Oh, yeah. Shotgun to the face. Never ceases to amaze. That's right. Weapons burning ammo fast. Uh, I'm going. And the good part about so far is, right? Whoosh! And the enemy has no defense. The rocket made all of the difference. It was just such a massive, massive, massive explosion. Reinforcements are not even coming yet. The X4 charges are active, but the aliens are still working to isolate the transmitter. Eliminate any remaining hostiles before they cut it off. I hope it's worth it. I don't want to lose this mission for evacuating too early, so we're just going to wait. Uh, no, we're we're good. What an interesting mission. In hindsight, first engagement might have been uh, stretching it a bit too much. I was uh, sort of banking on that uh, flamer to ignite at least two, if not all three of them. But yeah, sometimes you are unlucky and you only ignite one and the other two just get away into really, really solid cover. Cool. So, easy peasy mission there. We can get more intel in a second. But we also do have another mission here. And that could go down, I think, to 175, which is the next breakpoint. 200 intel. 200 intel. That's the cheapest version, that's the cheapening, uh, thanks to the one hack that we successfully have done. That's also uh, reduced, thanks to another hack that we've done. 
I want to have noble cause due to the faster will recovery. This here is also not a bad bonus. This here is a fantastic bonus. So Africa is really good. That's a pretty meh bonus. And that's not bad either. I like the ballistic modeling. Speed of all weapon research is increased by 15%. That's a really good uh, starting bonus. Get one more onto Intel. Thank you. Just double checking if all of the havens yep, have no hiding personnel. Okay. So question is, do we do the Salamander mission right away or uh, do we wait until it is 175? Might as well wait until it's 175. Good. Baseline is now very light and we need to do the smash and grab mission. So that'll be one where this new team that has just recently been formed, the Salamanders, uh, will hopefully burn the heretics, psionic storm there. Let's go. All right, landed. So we got plenty of stuff to take, but that's, this is a huge map. I think we can't just sing a move. All right, that looks good. Let's see if this one here is okay. Apparently yes, elsewise it would have been, uh, it would have triggered something by now. Okay, this is a huge map. Gotta be careful to trigger at the right time. Got some here. Well, never mind. We've already triggered triple priest. Oh, whoa. Fabulous. That's the type of problems that I've been looking to solve. Running and gunning to here. Eleven points of damage. Good enough to get him into sustenance, but not good enough to actually get him down. Couple of grazing shots. I don't like to take 50-50s, but apparently that's what we're going to do now. Try as enough to take that overwatch shot. And this might be a kill. Moving to here. I think we won't overdrive now to get that third priest whilst he's flanked. Mm -hmm. I'm always 
surprised just how easy enemies um, graze shots when they are like fully fling, whilst when we are fling, it feels like they are almost always critting. So maybe that is due to the enormous dodge rating that uh, all of the enemies seem to have. But yeah, of course, stasis. I heard a door. Let's investigate. This door is closed. Uh, can't tell. This door might be open, so potential uh, pod uh, there. Oh, we do have uh, Fliché. I forgot about that. Four to six. Doesn't cost ammunition. Knife to the gut is the new mode. Good job. One planet. Moves close to high ground, which is why, what I would want to take. Okay, overall careful, please. Let's see. Nothing. Fair enough. Overwatch, Overwatch, and we got a high ground position here. Time to push into this area, I'll move over here, I think. We got eight turns. Crates on top. I'm not sure if we can get all of the crates. This map looks a bit tight on the timing. My main problem is we're fighting against seven to nine, so we got three down, which means there are still plenty of enemies to go around. Triple, quadruple, uh, good, so we're looking at what, a, that is seven, which means there's, that might be it, or there might be a, one last pack, turret is down, which is great. There might be a real benefit for moving up there. There might be a real benefit for moving up there. I should have reloaded first and not overwatched. Well, maybe... What? Oh, it was 10 to 12. Never mind. It's definitely another pack. Failure to engage target. Rockets away. Good reloading. We know very well that there is another pack. And we know the other pack is there, so. Just a moment. Sensors 
Overwatch. Overwatch and Overwatch. Ah, good shot. Come a little bit closer, we don't want you up there. Oh yeah, down downstairs. Oh well that's that might be okay as well. Good. Make Archer needs to die first, it's not even a question. Auto targeting the Mac. Absolutely. Moves to here. Hits the Mac. Drive. Mac goes down. Good job. Very well done, Dreadnought. And that should hurt a lot. Sure, that should technically hit, shouldn't it? Might as well just kill him. Plus three. Uh, there is a small chance uh, that we could kill him or or just 100% stunning him and killing him next turn. That way there is no retaliation from him. Of course, he's now falling down. Pick up loot. And we need to be quick now because soon this nice environment here will completely and utterly be ruined. You move up here, take that one. Dreadnought moves up here, takes that one. Position confirmed. The cry moves up here, picks this one up. And then the loot. And you're picking this one up. Oh, there's still an alien somewhere. 
Not good. Well, look, we can't risk that. Even if it's just a turret, we can't. We just can't. Sure thing. I got the loot here. One. Two, three, four. Ready to engage. We leave it with four. Yeah, there's definitely one more uh, squad in the way that it sounds it's, uh, uh, it's a sector. Correct decision not to risk that. We only are two rounds away from like the total apocalypse where everybody is coming in. For such a large map, I think four out of five is fine. Firebrand is returning to base. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. That's still plenty. And we got all of the loot. Uh, that is uh, an important thing to consider as well. Got a couple of Valerian cores uh, and, and lots of weapon modifications. So we're good. We're good. Two very solid missions this time. The triple priest pack was nasty, by the way. Good, we got adaptive aim. I like to consider shredding going forward. Rainmaker is also very, very, very good, but we have limited shredding capabilities, so might as well take that. No, no, you guys don't like each other that much, which I find unfortunate. Three Illyrian cores even, lots of alloys, supplies, very good mission. Look at that, we're back up with the alloys right where we want to be, near 100. So that's good, we've got plenty of other missions to go through. We're nearing that 200 intel mark, which I could use in order to simply make a connection uh, alternatively build a turret tower here we anyways need two towers uh, in north america uh, to get the bonus so um, that's not bad and we got uh, just got a new recruit 29 that Sydney um, Baltruck very much looks like a psionic character to me. Psy operative. I like that. Good, we need to reduce the Avatar project a bit more. Martin Axenrod uh, finally got his uh, training. I like it. Let's see, is there another Shinobi? 
Yes, John Ripper Anderson wants to continue. With get some as a training. Raid location. Our friends in the resistance are paying a heavy price with the chosen mm. running loose. We should do what we can to take them down before they hit. Two days, five hours is just not enough to to really do that. I mean we got full salvage. If I put a seven man team there, which currently is the most efficient way of infiltrating that. We're still getting all of the bonus, uh, all of the bony that they are receiving just from under infiltration. So we're not only fighting 40, 50 people, but uh, we're on top of it uh, fighting um, a pretty sizable buff, as in defense buff, hit buff, hit point buff, and so on. So they're stronger, harder hitting, and I don't think that it is worth it. We're um, we're getting a couple of corpses, yes, Strategic resource located. but it's not. No, nah. with four days, I would consider it. With four days, I would consider it. Good, we have plenty of intel to continue expanding. Uh, what we're missing is supplies, and the next supplies go into the uh, into the upgrade uh, for our laboratory. So what are the cheap regions? This year would be a quote-unquote cheap region uh, to expand. This one here would be a very cheap region to expand to. might do that so without upgrading resistance comps right can't take um, that away but we could theoretically shift an engineer from here to resistance comps and then well if we do it we do it the right way and not just in a stupid uh, way. We got the workshop for a reason. Unfortunately, it really just works for the adjacent buildings. If I had pu uh, put proving grounds here, that, that would be even more valuable. A bit of a waste because it functions differently than in normal War of the Chosen, you can staff two, uh, two engineers here. Good, so we're up to eight uh, resistance contacts, which means we can start making contact and start to expand. We got the intel to back it up, that's fine. And that was will give us an another haven. Um, we'll already prepare the recruitments uh, there, so I personally like expanding because expansion is good. Resistance context plus one, that's good. Liberation, that's the mission we were looking for. That is exactly the mission we were looking for. Resistance context plus one is great as well. That's a permanent upgrade. So, I mean, we could select this one here. Might as well put a sixth uh, person in. How about divert? 
Is Diva ready for another Psy training? Yeah, Diva is ready for another uh, Psy training, but Toxic could help. It's 30 enemies. It's going to be a technically difficult or challenging mission. Could get it up to 130 percent, which would get it down to 50 uh, to uh, 27, and we have two, four, six. How does it look if we're getting another spark, for instance? Longer infiltration, seven days is pushing it. And we would have more enemies, but we would have another... Another support. The question is... Uh, reinforcements would be po uh, popping in. I just want enough damage to be able to uh, go through all of uh, the enemies. Six days. If we're just taking another normal uh, character, that's seven days. So it's either 25 to 27 or baseline 30. So that's one more pack for an entire character. I think that's the character's worth it. Let me equip everybody. Okay, equipped everybody, so let's give it a go. It's going to take a while to infiltrate, but that's the only way how we can liberate this enormously, uh, enormously strong region. We're going to go to that um, in the next episode, not in this one. Um, as we're coming to the end, uh, end of this episode, but that's going to be an interesting one as well, where we're uh, trying to intercept uh, the reinforcements. We um, have put, I think now six or yeah seven, uh, seven on that liberation mission. Uh, that's pretty much the largest team that we have fielded in a while, but um, at the at the same time. Even if I would have only gotten in with four uh, and would have tried to infiltrate it to 200%, the baseline would still be around 20. The problem with uh, this mission is uh, it already starts due to the high uh, force rating at around 20, right? Um, and the way that the infiltration mechanic work is, I think there are eight or nine breakpoints below 100%. So there is definitely all of the incentive in the, in the world to get to 100%. Um, and below 100% you also suffer a lot of um, penalties such as uh, the 100%, almost 100% 100 chance that enemies are immediately taking reaction uh, uh, shots, you are not starting uh, concealed, um, you uh, typically, in most cases you're not starting concealed, typically they got a higher vigilance uh, radius and so on and so forth. So it's actually uh, mm, there's a lot of encouragement for 100 percent infiltration which i personally appreciate what i uh, mm, what i think is a bit lopsided is the over infiltration only has four breakpoints 125 150 175 and 200 percent which kind of makes sense but in a situation when you start with 20 22 as a baseline you kind of end up with 15 to 18 uh, after 200 uh, percent infiltration and if you think about would you rather take seven people and fight against 28 to 30 or would you uh, take four people and fight against 15 to 18 so 
not sure I would always lean in on the 4 against 18 instead of 7 against uh, 30, specifically because there are reinforcement mechanics and the reinforcement mechanics very much uh, do not care about the number of people that you do have. They will just drop 2, 3, 4 and after a while you're getting swarmed. So um, long winded way of saying I still think that the bigger team makes sense but it comes at the cost because now uh, 7 people are off for a while. That's it uh, from my end. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoy Long War of the Chosen leave a comment and a like down below. Uh, that really helps the videos and take care. Bye bye.